few days ago, we introduced y'all to a brand new multiplayer shooter. Now, it's time to venture into the hyperscape. in the hyperscape. That's not supposed to be there. Well, let me get you all up to speed, okay? About 30 years ago, everything that we feared about our future started to come true. We made some good decisions. We made some bad decisions. Actually, we made a lot of bad decisions. So, here we are. Ten billion souls living in the crush of the megacities. But the people at Prisma <laughs> changed everything. They gave everyone a way out. The Hyperscape. In the Hyperscape, the biggest draw by far is Crown Rush. This is where anyone can become someone. rush it can change your life but strange things have been happening lately rumors of people getting hurt users disappearing from the real world a darker secret lies at the heart of hyperscape and we have to find it some of us are searching for a way up. Some of us for a way out. And for others, a new way all together. That's what brings us to the edge of the future. To the hyperscape. I'm JC, creative director on Hyperscape. JC's work on Far Cry Primal and multiple Prince of Persia titles has established him as a top creative here at Ubisoft. For me, what's exciting is uh, we started uh, building it from scratch. Uh, seeing it grow, uh, adding ideas is really cool. Hello, contender. Welcome to the hyperscape. The game takes place in 2054. It's in a future where humanity has grown a little darker. One of the, the companies there, they are launching what's called the Hyperscape, which is a virtual world and the internet of the future. It's the place where everything converges. Uh, within the virtual world, there is a battle royale that takes place in the virtual city of Neo Arcadia. Then we also introduce a lot of new things. You get the opportunity to do parkour on the rooftops, to go into interiors where it's much more narrow, much more stressful. Uh, you get to go to the landmarks where there's more uh, opportunities to get cool items, but also more players, so it's a risk-reward kind of deal. We introduce the notion of hacks, special abilities that you can pick up on the fly to adapt your tactics. With hacks, you can do things like uh, teleport yourself, uh, you can wrap yourself into a ball and uh, bounce around the battlefield. So a lot of abilities that let you have fun, that are toys that you can play with. And finally, it's made as a spectacle, so all the viewers will be able to interact with the game on different levels through the Twitch extension. So every few minutes, there's going to be a vote, and viewers will be able to decide what effect they want to affect the whole battle. So things like changing the gravity, uh, infinite ammo, or stuff like that. So players, while this happens, really have to adapt to all kinds of stuff that is happening. So for me, it's really exciting, because right now, as we speak, we are launching the open beta, and so it's going to be available for uh, free-to-play for all PC players worldwide. 
And I really want to thank all the players, all the streamers, and all the viewers who participated in Tech Test and who will participate in the open beta. Here's a short glimpse of what you can expect. Watch and learn how it's done. Perfecto. Showtime. That's mine. Let's show them what I'm made of. Go time. Watch closely. Here we go. Kono Toshi. The digital world of the Hyperscape gave our artists and developers incredible freedom when it came to designing characters. Production manager Anna Maria Muska is going to take us behind the scenes of character design. My name is Anna Maria Muska. I'm the production manager for characters and weapons on Hyperscape. We have paid an exceptional amount of detail to our characters. We switch different outfits, different fashion statements, different tattoos, different materials until we see them as real individuals, as real people. So the second you pick a character, you see them in game, you understand what their motivations are and what drives them and what challenges them. This was the first lineup of characters. This is our default base, but even starting from the hair down, everything has been meticulously thought of would this person actually like this type of outfit? Would this person enjoy the type of tattoos that we're putting on them? Will they actually like to be in this body? Each season, we plan to produce new outfits for these characters. So we're hoping some of our players are gonna see the effort and maybe even correlate some of the accessories to what's gonna happen in the game. We're very excited to see it in people's hands.